Welcome back. The Southeast Polk Rams are back at the Unidome for the second time in three years, and this is typically a point they struggled to get past. The last time they made it to a championship game was back in 2006. They lost that year to Cedar Rapids Xavier. Trying to change that tonight, Brad Zelinovich's Rams taking on Pleasant Valley. Southeast Polk and Pleasant Valley both come into this game undefeated on the season. The Rams will get the ball to start this game. They waste no time getting on the board. Jackson Daly hits Isaiah Emanuel across the middle. He hits the Jets, and he just has to win that foot race to the end zone and does. 80-yard passing touchdown puts the Rams on the board, 7 to nothing. Ahead to the second quarter, Daly finding the hands of Emanuel again on the slant. That's their second touchdown connection of the game, and it's 14-0 SEP. Seven yards out, a little misdirection here. Xavier Nwangpa again, this time with the carry. What a juke! And just tosses the defender off of him in the end zone. It's 21-0 just like that. Rams blowing out PV. Second half only got uglier. The Rams scored 29 more, including a Jackson Daly touchdown run. Titus Christensen adding another as well. The Rams dominate the Spartans 50 to 10. They are on to the 4A championship next week. So Southeast Polk came into the dome absolutely rolling. The average margin of victory for them in the playoffs this year, 37 points. That didn't change. As you just saw, 40 points tonight. The team is hot. They're playing some of the best football all year. And this one wasn't really close after the first quarter. To get to this point, uh, everybody sacrifices a lot. Everybody commits, you know, to 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 to, to prepare to, to play the last week of the season. And so, you know, we're fortunate enough to have the opportunity next week. Our guys are excited. Uh, everyone just bought in. Like we practice or starting Sunday through Thursday. That's when we win the game. We just had great weeks of practice and then preparation and building up. So our coaches have done a great job of putting us in a position to be able to go win games. Um, and we're really getting after it. We're holding each other accountable um, every day of practice. We're working really hard. We just got to make sure that we keep doing what we're doing. Uh, I feel like we're playing good, but it's still our best footballs. We have one game to prove it and then show us what we got still. The last time the Rams made it to a state title game, it was the only time they've done it. Back in 2006, now head coach Brad Zlinovich was the offensive coordinator. And some of these seniors, they were just two or three years old back then. So yeah, it's been a while, but if you talk to them, they're ready to go. They still feel like they've got more to prove. In the Unidome, Matthew Judy, Local 5 Sports, we are Iowa. Now as for the nightcap, it features the most high-powered offense in the state, taking on the seven-time defending champs in Class 4A. It's Ankeny versus Dowling Catholic. We're going to jump into this one second quarter, 3-0 Ankeny, but Dowling is working it on offense. Jackson Smolik going up top to Lewis Brooks. Insane catch down the sidelines, puts the Maroons in the red zone. From there, it's Zach Schwager. 20-yard run right up the gut, bulldozing over the goal line for a 7-3 Maroons lead after the PAT. Jackson Smolik now back to pass, gets the throw off. Andrew Lynch climbing the ladder to go get it for another Maroons touchdown. It's Dowling Catholic up 14-3. Ahead to the third quarter now. Ankeny finally able to punch it in, looking for the reverse pass, but Brody Breck decides to tuck it instead. He is in 14-10 after the PAT. The Hawks get it right back again, and they cash in. Power to Brady McCullough, and it's 17-14 Ankeny taking the lead. They take down the seven-time defending champs.